As recently as the 1960s, there were only a few African-American elected officials in the United States. Now there are thousands, including the mayor of Atlanta, Kasim Reed. Recently, I talked with Reed about the impressive black mayors of Atlanta who came before him. Mayor Reed, I always get a kick out of uh, when I go to governor's mansions and city halls, and you always see the photos of all the, of the previous mayors. And oh, yeah. of course, here we have uh, your predecessor, Mayor predecessor. Shirley Franklin. Yes. Uh, and I really so, like that piece. You know, and a lot of people, I mean, they, when they think about you know, Atlanta, they don't realize that Atlanta's had a whole number of white mayors. That's why I put these up. I thought it gave a more balanced presentation of the history of the city. Because so, so these weren't up before you got in? No, I put all of these up. These were um, dispersed throughout City Hall. Okay. So I wanted them um, put up because I think it shows the fullness of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it gives a more balanced presentation of the Office of Mayor. Well, I want to stop right here uh, because this is, a, of course, the portrait of a Maynard Jackson. Uh, and I've often said, uh, in speeches all across this country, uh, that out of all the black elected officials in the history of this country, yes. I believe that he was the most significant because of how he utilized political power to maximize economic power. He did. I think he really took us to, the, to a different place, and I think he paid an extraordinary price, really in the tradition of Martin Luther King. So I believe that he was really that next generation that I think really moved Dr. King's legacy consistent with uh, the speeches that he was given in his final Because days. what he was talking about was, I mean, his whole point was, especially with the airport, mm -hmm. African Americans were subcontractors, few of them. Mm -hmm. He said, I know they can't become prime unless they've been a prime before. Right. So, they, so they confronted the rules. Yes. Also, the banks in this city wouldn't lend money to African Americans. Right. He said, fine, you don't lend them money, I'm pulling the city's money yes. out of the bank accounts. But he also had a, a different message. He said that um, we can either join together as partners in an inclusive manner or weeds will grow. He said as the mayor of the city of Atlanta, I can simply pick up trash and do the basics and provide police services or we can really soar together. And fortunately, we had a business community in Atlanta that was fortunate enough to overcome its old grievances and a leader that held folks accountable, and they did soar together. Absolutely. Of course, I always joke with the mayor, he's a capitalist. So that's a good alpha man right here. <laughs> oh, so man. I always got to make that point. <laughs> oh, man. So we have, the, we have the other mayors going on here, but also we have, of course, uh, Andrew Young, or oh, another alpha man. Yeah, but, uh, I knew it was coming. <laughs> But, but, but same thing in terms of, um, you know, following in the footsteps of Mayor mm -hmm. Jackson. And so uh, your thoughts on his legacy as mayor of the city. Ambassador Andrew Young is another transformational leader because he and a white businessman named Billy Payne flew around the world to win the 1996 Olympic Games. And that was the year that Athens, Greece mm -hmm. was competing for the 100th anniversary of the Games. Now, I want you to repeat that because part of the problem for me yeah. is that uh, folks around this country, they say it was Billy Payne who brought the yes. Atlanta yeah. uh, Olympic Games here. Yeah. But there is you don't have the Olympics here without well, Andrew Young with him. The good thing about Billy Payne is he wouldn't say that. Right. Um, they were a team. That's right. And if you look at how Atlanta got selected, they got selected in the last rounds. So it took multiple votes. And I think there were 90 plus members voting. Ambassador Young knew more than 50 of them personally from his days as UN ambassador, and we won the votes from the African continent overwhelmingly. So we were competitive other places, but that really was from uh, Ambassador Young and Billy Payne. It was a great partnership. Billy Payne had the business and financial model. Ambassador Young had the political relationships, mm -hmm. the credibility, and he had built a city that had the infrastructure for it. So now, whenever we're competing for business in the mm -hmm. United States, uh, like the convention that's in town for the National Black MBAs, mm -hmm. the infrastructure is here and nobody can question it because we hosted the Olympics. So if we're trying right. to get a Super Bowl to come, or if we're trying to get a, um, a major sporting event to come, uh, I actually want the uh, Mayweather-Manny Pacquiao fight in All Atlanta. Right. We, we can prove that we handled the 1996 Olympic Games, so it makes the conversation, it gets that off of the table. Now, most, now most people hate to talk about their own legacy, and so let's say mm -hmm. we have an empty wall right here. Yeah. Uh, what would you want 
uh, someone to say about Mayor Kasim Reed's legacy as, as mayor of Atlanta? Oh, my goodness. When your portrait is on this wall. That's tough. Um, I think uh, I want my legacy to be that uh, I left a city where it's possible for a kid that went to a public school from southwest, in Atlanta, from southwest Atlanta to grow up and become a mayor in 40 years. Is the city good enough for its public schools uh, to train up a young person, uh, to have a community support a young person? It's really my own life story. I'm a public school kid from here, and the president of the city council uh, grew up about 15 minutes from me. I think the question for me as mayor is, can that happen today? Can, or, or, or for you, can a Roland Martin born in your neighborhood where you're from uh, rise to the highest levels of journalism and media? And to the extent that I make that possible for someone else uh, without regard of their color, but certainly an African-American boy or girl, um, that would mean that all of this was worth it.